I am Heather, Heather Beaver, the front office manager here at the Doubletree. My strengths are consistency, harmony, empathy, input, and responsibility. I'm here to introduce an athlete who has been an absolute joy getting to know over the past few weeks. She, along with the program, has brought on new insight about life and appreciation and helped me realize, really tap into my own strengths. Please help me give a warm welcome to my new friend, Jennifer McHugh. Hello, thank you all for coming tonight. My name is Jennifer McHugh. I would like to talk to you tonight about my three strengths and how they help me plant and grow my friendship tree. I was born on May 13, 1986, without a disability. I spent from age six months to nine months in the hospital, recovering from a brain injury. At 13 months, I was adopted by Jeff, Janice, and Lucas McHugh. Lucas, my new brother, has been praying for a baby sister. My mom and dad knew I would learn best at home. So like my brother, my mom homeschooled me. We were also part of a great homeschool group at 4-H Club. I was also able to learn life skills through foods and clothing projects. My leadership skills were developed by taking care of showing in goats and cats. Our homeschool group put on a musical every year. I performed songs, dances, and speaking parts on stage. After I was too old for homeschool and forage, I joined Special Olympics. I became very active in basketball, swimming, track and field, bowling, and soccer. One year, I was even chosen the most inspirational athlete and lit the torch at the Winter State Games. I met my best friend Kirsten in Forage when she joined our Forage Club. Kirsten was really shy when we first met. One day she saw my fuzzy lion earrings and she started talking to me. One time after a Forage style review, our families went to Dairy Queen to celebrate. Kirsten wanted some glass of water but was too shy to ask for it herself. So I went up with her to get a glass of water. We spent a lot of time together in forage, homeschool in each other's home. We always thought that when we grew up, we would live next door to each other in a duplex. <laughs> Even though she goes to college out of town, we are still great friends. She has even invited me down to visit her in Emporia. Kirsten is getting married this next year, and I will be in her wedding. We've been planning to be in each other's weddings since we were kids. When I was 16, my grandpa became very sick, and my mom had to take care of him. So I was enrolled in transition program in Perry High School. While there, I met my friend Ashley Kilgore. We started sitting next to each other at class, and we became great friends. Our parents started a social group for local young adults with disabilities. We called our group TAG, which stands for Totally awesome group. <laughs> we met every other Tuesday for practicing life skills such as cooking, crafts, games, and dancing. Every Thursday we meet for bowling. We have even performed skits together. I always
always had one of the lead parts. We held dances, dinners every year. Together, Ashley and I joined Special Olympics. Even though I do other sports, Ashley and I do bowling and cheerleading together. In my last year of transition program, I was selected for a youth leadership camp. We learned to be advocates for ourselves. At the camp, I met Kevin Franzen. He lived in McPherson. We took classes together and hung out. After camp, we kept in touch by email. After about a year, we lost contact. One day, I got an email from him, and we started communicating again. Now we text, talk, and email almost every day. We have even talked about getting married someday. He has come to visit me in Kansas City and has come to my Special Olympics event. Even though my presentation features just three of my friends, I have made many good friends, especially in Special Olympics including Becky Sadoff and Alex Leland. Although my life did not start so good, my family and friends have helped me become the positive, happy, helpful person God wants me to be and grow my friendship tree. Thanks again for coming. I would like to express my thanks to Donna Zimmerman from KSSO and Heather Beaver my mentor from Doubletree Hotel.